Welcome to our few moments together on, well, this week is not a Parsha. It's talking about Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah begins in just a few days. When we daven on Rosh Hashanah, we daven from a Machzor. It's important to have a good Machzor because we will understand the words better. And certainly, when we say the words and we realize what they mean, it helps us appreciate what we're davening for. We know that in the Shemona Esrei, there are four special sentences that are added when we say Shemona Esrei. At the beginning of the Shemona Esrei, we say, Zachreinu l'chaim, melech hafiz v'chaim, micha mocha avarachamim. Towards the end, we say, Yuchsov l'chaim tovim, v'sefer chaim. If we leave out any of these sentences, the Shulchan Aruch points out that we don't go back and repeat them if we already said the bracha that follows any of these sentences. Interestingly enough, in the Shemona Esrei itself, right before we say the bracha of HaMelech HaKadosh, we stop by the words Kedoshim B'chol Yom Yalucha Sela, and we say, Uvechein Tein Pachtecha, and so you should place your fear, the Eimoscha, and your dread, short-term, long-term, upon all of mankind, so that the Yiras Shamayim, the Yiras Horomimus, the fear of the exalted quality of the position of Hashem in reference to the people that are davening to Him, come upon us so that we have an appreciation of the seriousness of the Yomim No Ra'im and Rosh Hashanah as we're written and hopefully sealed immediately for the good of life. The second paragraph, right after Uvechein Tein Pachtecha, however, starts Uvechein Tein Kavod La'amecha. And so you should place honor and give Kavod La'amecha Tihila Lireyecha. Praise to those who fear you. Vesikva Tova Ledorashecha. And a good hope for those who seek you. We're asking Hashem to give us the opportunity to attain honor, kavod, praise. Why is that inserted in the Shemona essay of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur? We can understand uvechein tein pachtecha, and you should have your fear and dread upon us. But why do we pray and add and ask for kavod? I once heard from Rav Taitz of the Yeshiva in Elizabeth, who so beautifully explained that if we had a sense of self honor, of self-respect. We would not do some of the foolish things that we tend to do that are not so right over the year. We would be much more cautious and careful, not only about our own covered, but about the covered of our neighbors, about the covered of our friends, about the covered of Klai Yisrael, about Kvod Shamayim. We would be very, very cautious about saying or doing anything that would reduce from the kavod that accrues to the Jewish people, both as a collective whole and as individuals. And so we're asking Hashem to give us the ability to have self-respect, respect respect for ourselves, our parents, our friends, our neighbors, all of Klai Yisrael. Because if that happens, simcha la'artzecha v'soson li'irecha, there'll be nothing but joy and rejoicing for all of Kal Yisrael. Even if we left that paragraph out, we wouldn't have to go back and say it, but if we did say it after we said Hashem's name from the next bracha, according to many, it's acceptable. The key is that we have to seek our own self-respect, our own kavod. We need to hope and pray that the world have self-respect, and not do things which would reduce the honor of the pinnacle of creation known as mankind. Honor and kavod are the kinds of things that we pray for and hope for as the new year comes along, so that we will be blessed with a shana tova umesuka. I want to take this opportunity to wish everyone a ksiva tova, a wonderful, as they say in Yiddish, a good gebench the yar, It should be a year of sweetness, health, accomplishment, and self-respect. Kavod for ourselves as individuals, 
our families and all of Klai Yisrael. I take this opportunity to wish the young Israel Beth El of Barapak and all of Klai Yisrael a wonderful Ksiva Vachasima Tova, a Shona Tova Umesuka, the Shona Tova Tikva Sevu, the Seicha Semu.